Dr. Suzanne Mertens Talcott is looking into how plant based phytochemicals, including antioxidants and herbal supplements, can promote health and help prevent chronic diseases. Talcott is in a joint research and teaching position with the Department of Nutrition and Food Science and the Department of Veterinary Physiology and Pharmacology at Texas A&M University. A lot of people are of the opinion that it's best to eat a great variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, they contain uh, vitamins and minerals as well as uh, the so-called non-nutrient antioxidants which are also called phytochemicals. Many of these phytochemicals seem to be beneficial in fighting certain diseases, such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, and arthritis. Talcott wants to learn more. My overall goal is uh, to find out more um, regarding the efficacy and safety of those phytochemicals, those plant-based antioxidants. These substances are big business, too. Uh, the consumption, I said it earlier, of dietary supplements um, has been in increasing to 21 billion, I believe, whereas the um, portion of the um, herbal supplements is uh, at about 7 billion in 2005. But are they safe? Are they efficient? How much is required and how much is too much? Talcott is searching for the answers. Because consumers, they would like to consume these uh, products, they do consume them. However, the problem is we do know very little about dosing recommendations we do not know um, how efficacious they are, and we do not know how safe they are. The results of some of her studies were published in the October 13, 2006 edition of the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. I'm Linda Anderson reporting for the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station.